Current, current, Shalawan, Shalawan, this is Captain Kadash from D-Lot of Zion. Right now we're in the Fort Myers area, the Lee County area, trying to build our people up. If it's in your spirit, we ask that you will send us a $7 cash out to help us build our school and to help us build up the nation of Israel in this area. I want to say Shalawan, hallelujah. Shalom, Shalom. This is Captain Zamar. Hey, make sure y'all follow our Facebook at Lehigh Acres and also make sure you follow our Instagram at DLOZ Lee County. Hallelujah. Shalom, Shalom, Mr. Elder. Make sure you read Acts 20 and 35 and remember to give generously. Give generously. Shalom. Shalom. So, hold on, hold on. Before you say that, did you, did you ever even get the chance to read it? Because why would a white man write a book that condemns him in the Bible, uh, condemn himself in a book? Cause the white man, the, you say the white man wrote this wrote this book, but it condemns him in this book. What I do believe in, I do believe in a higher power. I definitely do. Mm -hmm. But I think it's for each to each oh, to go and find your own greatest hero and figure out what you want to do. Then the whole body is dead. So now what we're trying to do, we're addressing the situations. 
And this is one of these situations. Let me get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. As a matter of fact, let's start at 15. Let's start at 15. Because this is why this is why we're this is why you see us the last hire the first five. This is where you can see that you got DDs, the Chinese restaurant, the laundromat, the shoe store, the clothes store. All of it's owned by other all of it's owned by other people from other nations, but it don't belong to us. Which is crazy to think about. You mean to tell me that you have over a hundred you have almost over a hundred thousand blacks? within the hood and they can't even set up a store like these? But you got these Asians, these Chinese, and, and all these other people can come in and, and, and shut up and set up shop and they make millions off us and they go across the tracks and go live peaceably while we going through it, going through the muds and the sticks trying to get it? This, but it shows what it proves in the Bible. Let's get that. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15 verse. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on, let's get that. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses... That all these what? All these curses... Now, is a curse a good or a bad thing? Bad. It's a bad thing. So, what this, what this precept is saying is, is that we were supposed to, that we, were, that we had a covenant with the Lord, and if we broke this promise or this contract or this agreement, that we were gonna, that there was gonna be certain stipulations that were gonna be put upon our people. Read on. Not all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake us. And it will come upon us and overtake us. It will consume us until we are destroyed. But let me get on verse 54. Uh, verse 54. And this is a big one. With, this is a big one within the hoods. Even still to this day, it's still going on. So we have to keep the law statute commandments. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate, uh -huh. his eye shall be evil toward his brother. There was a time when we were nice and loving to one another. We used to, have, we used to be able to go knock on each other's door and ask for a cup of sugar. We can't even do that nowadays. You knock on, you knock on a, a random person, knock at your door. You ain't even answering the door if you don't know him like that. That's that. That's where that's where our kindness starts getting cold. We we used to be loving and caring towards one another, but society in this in this system had us thinking, oh, at the world, it's just me and mine. We shouldn't be thinking like that. What does that mean? That means the light of Zion. We're a church, we're a school down in Fort Lauderdale, but we're setting but we're setting up in Fort Myers. We're trying to build a school. We try to build our community back up. That's why we out here. We don't. And toward the wife of his bosom, uh -huh. and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Huh. So it said that we, it, it said that we will have a, a hatred towards one another. Well, if we look at each other too long, we'll, you, you'll be like, what's that? What's that problem? Or what's that nigga problem? They got something wrong with them. That that's a that's a curse. And then it said it, that anger will get will get so bad is that even when we get a wife or or or, or a man finds a good uh, a man a woman finds a man. And that hatred will stem so bad that they, that he'll leave. That, that the man will leave the child. Now who now who is that happening to today? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. You know? You do it with your father and your husband? No. And that's and that's part of the curses. This is this is, and this is within the Bible. It said that we will have fatherless households. My father wasn't in my my father wasn't even in my in my house. So I can understand. That, I can understand why this, pre this scripture is saying that. It's because if we keep the law statute commandments, we'll, we'll become great again. Let me get um. Let me get um. Um, sixty-eight. Okay. Deuteronomy yeah, chapter. This is the book of Deuteronomy twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. Uh huh. And the law shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh huh. With ships, uh -huh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more again. Now that word Egypt, that that word Egypt is synonymous with the word bondage. If you go to Exodus twenty, the definition of the word Egypt means bondage, means slavery. Let's get that real quick, brother. Right. Exodus twenty and two. Exodus chapter twenty, verse two. Uh huh. I am the most high thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. That means we were going into slavery on ships, you know? The most high shall bring thee into Egypt again. Or bring us into slavery again, you know? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships, you know? By the way.
way where I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. When they say thou shalt see it no more again, it means our homeland, which is Israel. They say we will not see our, our homeland again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto your who? Unto your enemy. Now who are we sold unto? Oh, it, what do they call us? Enemy. Our enemies, read on. For bond men uh -huh. and bond women. And bond men and bond women. So we will go into slavery again. The Bible even talks about slavery. What, what are the chances of that? You know, we read, we're reading about, we're reading about a mother, uh, fatherless households, reading about uh, 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 slavery. That's recorded in the Bible, which was what? Thousands of years ago? So you earlier you were saying, well, you were saying, this is showing you that this is not a religious book. A religious book is a, it's a history book, which is your history. Yeah. So what the white man did, he took certain scriptures out of your history to um, manipulate. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bring that out. Thank right. you. To make them seem like that, that it's okay to to, uh, to put you in slavery. It's okay for them to move and hang you and do all these things to you. But the Bible don't speak. The Bible speaks against it. Right. This this is your history book, sis. Everybody, every character in the in the Bible is a so-called black mismanaged Native American. Native American right? These are your people. They, can nobody say that their people ever been bought on sla slavery or shit but our people? And this is talking about the children of Israel, the Israelites, and, and the real Jews, of course. And don't forget Bible. your thought, but sis, the the first thing you mentioned was the slave master. Yeah. The same Bible that they use to manipulate the slaves, there's a judgment against those same slave masters. You see what I'm saying? They gave us half the Bible. Don't get me wrong, there was slave Bibles. But if we actually read, we would also read the judgment that's gonna happen to those same slave masters that put us into slavery. Kind, kind, shalom, shalom. This is Captain Kadash from Deal Out of Zion. Right now we're in the Fort Myers area, the Lee County area, trying to build our people up. In your spirit, we ask that you will send us a seven dollar cash out to help us build our school and to help us build up the nation of Israel in this area. I want to say shalom, hallelujah! Shalom, shalom. This is Captain Zamar. Hey, make sure y'all follow our Facebook at Lehigh Acres and also make sure you follow our Instagram at DLOZ Lee County. Hallelujah! Shalom, shalom, Mr. Elder. Make sure you read Acts 20 and 35 and remember to give generously. Give generously. Shalom, shalom.